Alrighty, fans of Ottawa, welcome back with your Stanley Cup champions. Yes, boys, in the last episode or a stream, it was a stream, it was a pretty long one actually, two hours I believe. We did the whole year two sim because I just wanted to do it a day, the day before Christmas Eve to give you some, give you guys something to watch and we won the Stanley Cup. We went all the way, boys. It was unbelievable and I mean it was great. I'll, I'll do a short recap real quick. Showing you the playoff tree and the points and the and the point totals in the playoffs for the players. So there's the playoff tree. You can see who we went up against. I mean, all the teams we went up against in the Eastern Conference were very tough teams. And then we went to the Stanley Cup Final and we went up against Arizona. And keep in mind, this is year two, so they weren't a crazy team. And I mean, we and we just destroyed them in the in the Stanley Cup Finals, honestly. If I were to be honest, but taking a look at the point totals here, we got Eric Carlson leading the team. I mean, you can go down the list and see the rest of the uh, rest of the team, and everybody contributed fairly well. One player I'm not too um, satisfied with is Thomas Shabbat, and where is he? And and Mark Stone. I was expecting a few more goals from Stone, but then again, we did win the, win the Stanley Cup, so I can't complain. I mean, Andrew Hammond came in the in the early round, early round, round one, I believe, and he helped out. And Anderson just went the rest of the way. So we we are facing an older team here, which kind of worries me. But I believe we do have some players to sign before we get into the draft. So I believe Eric, yes, Eric Carlson has to be signed, and you know he's gonna want some money. So wants yeah he doesn't want an extension man that worries me. So Eric Carlson, how about eight years, eight point eight? That's the most I'm going for you, Carlson. That is the most. Wait, didn't uh, Colin White want an extension? He's been showing up. Wants an extension. Colin White he does twenty two years. Ooh, that's a lot of money. For a young forward like him, that's a lot of money, man. I say we go, we go four years, and we will, we'll go, we'll go three, three years at four point eight two five, go a million less. Uh, Sadeem Pominville, I don't know if I'm gonna resign those guys. Uh, Pocket, what do you want, buddy? One point five. That's a bit, that's a bit of money. All right, so we're gonna offer those two contract contract extensions. Excuse me. Ah, uh, man. I hope Carlson accepts that offer, man. I know because if they don't want an extension, that means they want more money. Like if they're not wanting it, but you can offer one, they want more money. So, um, yeah, we'll go straight into the draft. I guess why not? Just start it off here and see uh, what we can do. Offer trade. Let's let's wait. Actually, I should actually looked at the draft class too, just just to show you guys. Um, is there anybody that I was thinking about trading? Okay, my phone's going off, and that's really annoying. Phone, can you shut up? I'm making a video now. <laughs> but, um, I mean, is there really anybody I, could, I should trade here? I mean, we just won the Stanley Cup. Is there any reason to break up this team? Uh, nobody is eating up the cap. So, yeah, I don't know if we trade anybody. Uh, doesn't Anderson have to be resigned this year, if I recall? Craig Anderson, or is that next year? That's next year, okay. Bro, can my phone shut up? <laughs> Jesus, throw that over there. I hope that hits something. All right, we're good now. Um, yeah, I don't think I was going to try to trade anybody. As my phone starts exploding, I'm going to... I have the silent thing on, but... Or the silencer, excuse me. Yeah, I don't think I was going to be trading anybody. Kyle Turris, no, Mark Stone. I mean, no, I don't think we can trade anybody. Because this team just did win a Stanley Cup. So, yeah, no no reason to make a trade. I'm not Mazzora. How did he do? He was our, uh, our late-round steal. 15 points as a rookie defenseman, 5'9". That's not bad. Remember, he's going to be the next Tory crew, basically. And if he does turn out to be a top four demon, that's pretty good for a fourth round pick. But um, draft pick, does anybody want these guys? No, I don't think so. Let's just trade him for like a fourth and a seventh. Fourth, can we get a can we get a fourth, fifth, and seventh from this? If not, we take off the fifth. No. Okay, how about those two? No, really? <sighs> um. Okay, a fourth from this year and a seventh from next year. Okay. No. Okay. So we'll try to get. It. Can we get a fifth, sixth, and seventh? I'm just work I'm just pushing it to the limit. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Got that done. I think we we can just go. Why not? I don't think we need to do anything. I need to stop a uh, decline. Do I actually have a? Oh, I do. I have my first round pick this year. Maybe I should have traded it, but we didn't know how this team was gonna pan out. Uh, wait. Where's the guy pinned? Nope. Not not high league interest. Oh, here we go. We gotta wait five minutes now. Um. Pinned. 
Okay, that's the second and third round, that top four demons. I'll try to get him with my second round pick if I have one. Hope I do. So, we got uh, top nine. This is Derich. Der Derich, is that his name? We got a Sub Subruv, 17-year-old sniper. <laughs> Sexsmith, okay, that's a nice name. Nicholas, 6'5". Holy smokes. Okay, so what do we... Um, I'm kind of... This Subruv guy, 6 foot. I mean, he's 17. That could be something to go after. You know what? I'm going for the Raging Russian. Why not? You know, oh, we're going to have to do this every time. Look back. What do we get with them? Top 9. Pfft, bust. Darn it. But let's take a look at the rest of the draft here. So, Boston took a left-wing playmaker, Darling. Detroit took a left-wing two-way forward, right Rippin, Ripen. And then we got Cook, two-way defender for the Islanders. Severson, elite sniper for the Predators. Hmm. Weird that they're kind of, they kind of fell down a little bit. Um, like, standings, I mean. Uh, Noonan, 68 overall playmaker, no one foot, high top six. Amino, um, any other steals? I mean, there's some good players here, but any steals by any chance? Not really looking like it. Uh, medium top six, sniper there for the Red Wings. Uh, Blackhawks got a new goaltender to replace Crawford in the years coming. Now, do I have a second round pick? And if I do, I want to move up. Okay, I don't. How about, uh, you know what, does Winnipeg, <laughs> does Winnipeg want to give up? Yes, they do. Okay, this <laughs> this is such a cheat code, but I'm going to do it. Um, where Where's that pick? Here we go. Our first round pick, let's just, oh my god, he's not, he doesn't even have the value of a second round pick. Uh, goaltender, this Fitzpatrick guy. Oh, wait, no, 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 I cannot trade Fitzpatrick. I, trade. I was thinking about it, but no. Formatin, 72-19. He's growing, but he's growing slowly. Harold, I really don't think he's going to become anything, so we'll throw him in the deal. Is that enough to put? No, it's not. Oh, my God. All right, throwing a, we may have to throw in a fourth. We do have, actually, let's throw in one of these fifths. We got so many of them. No. Nope. Come on, let me, let me, can I, can I, there we go. Propose, oh, my God. Uh, how about another fifth? Two fifths. I'm really pushing it to get this guy. There we go. Okay, trade accepted. Sim the user pick. <laughs> if that guy's not there, I'm going to be pissed. Oh, dude, oh, I thought that was him right there. <laughs> Thought I saw medium top four. All right, where is that guy? I was interested. There he is, Galina. Galina. Galina, six foot two way defender. But there's also this goaltender here, six three. Now we gotta go with what we scouted. Fifty five, low top four. Not bad. He's gonna take a while to grow, but that's okay. Um, any other steals? I guess we can find. Man, lots of top medium, lots of mediums. That's the first low overall pick in that round. I wonder what that goaltender turned out to be. Uh, let's trade for Steen. Yeah, I'm going to trade for him. Going to take on another dead contract to be the next Clark MacArthur. Um, this Filatov, he, he is bottom six, but we have him scouted a little bit. I'm going to take a risk on him. Maybe he can be a top nine. Oh, I got to go back every time. This is what's pretty annoying. Um, yeah, bottom six. I messed up. <laughs> um, what did that goaltender turn out to be, actually? I'm kind of interested. Ooh, hack. Ha oh, my God. Hack. Hakarainen, 61 medium elite right wing power forward. So the goaltender was medium star. Maybe we should have went after that. And then, oh, man, maybe maybe we're not making... Oh, man, that's a steal right there. Garnett, defense to defenseman, 72 overall in the second round. Late second round, as a matter of fact. Jesus Christ, man. That was probably not a good... Man, I'm not making good draft choices. Okay. Um, Purcell, low top 9, 19, 6 foot. We'll go after him. Oh, excuse me. We gotta go back every time and look. Um, medium starter goaltender there. Um, well, top six, well, top nine, top nine, top nine, uh, top six. But Jesus Christ, bottom six. I can't make a good draft choice, man. Come on. <laughs> hmm, maybe, maybe we gotta go with the medium. No, I'm not. I'm not taking the high top nine. Um, what about this Natushkin guy? 70. I'm just, <laughs> I'm not making good draft choices, boys. Not making good choices. What about the low 70? I'm just doing anything to get somebody, something. Okay, medium top 60 for Nestorov. There we go. Okay, this will be our last pick. Because we really don't need to go into the sixth round. Because I doubt... I mean, you want to draft with every pick to see if you can get a late round steal, boy. Cause it, okay, so there's some top nines. Let's just make the right choice. Um... Sim entire draft. Draft is now complete. I would have liked to have looked at it. But that's whatever. Okay, so the draft is done now. Um, 
I'm thinking. Who could be in free agency? Uh, we'll check. We'll check it when the time comes. We're almost to the we're almost free agency, anyways. So, yep, start the resign. Uh White accepted. Eric Carlson accepted our offer. Okay, that is huge. Now that's gonna leave us with a little bit less in cap space, but it was better to get him now than later. Okay, we said we got 15 million. We got 15 freaking million in cap space. Okay, so we got Palm and P. I want to offer him one year. How many is two two years? I'll offer you a one year. No, whoa, 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 one year at 3.1. Sadine, one year at 3.0. Yeah, I'll give you. I'll give you your asking price. Silverberg, ooh, that's a bit. For 82 overall, it's a bit price. I'll come back to him. Uh, Sadine. I'll offer you a little bit more. Pyatt, ah, he's 32. He's not going to have good. He's not going to pan out. Goaltenders, Hammond. You know, I'll give him one more year just to like 50K more. RFA, nothing. Pocket, how much you want? You Okay, yeah, we'll give him that. That's a good deal. Kaspari Kapanen. Actually, yeah, ooh, yeah, this is a. Yeah, lock him down. Lock him down. Lear, um. No, he wants that. We'll, no, oh, I thought I'd. Jesus Christ. Qualify RFA. Angling, yep, he knows what's up. We'll give him that. Um, yeah, all these other guys are not that good. Goaltender's nothing. All right, let's take a look at the prospects here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. That Galena, I don't think he's going to be anything special. This Colin guy, we drafted him sixth round. I mean, 60 overall isn't bad, but with low top six, I don't think so. All right, so let's see if those guys accept. We're not going to sign any of the other dudes. Oh, man, Silverberg, he, put, he puts up good numbers, but I mean, I don't know. That's a bit pricey. Almost 4.5 for an 82 overall, you know. So let's advance the day here. Let's see what the boys say. Yep, we got Palm and P back for one more year. Paquette. And we got the Sedines. Uh, although I'm interested in, in a principal tune extension, I'm going to reject this offer at this dollar value. I feel, I felt that I could impact the initial roster more if I was given a chance to play. You played in the playoffs. What do you mean? You carried us through the first round. Well, we may not want to come back. We'll offer him, we'll offer him 1.100 and see if he signs. All right, so how much cap space now? $7 million. Do we use that money to go after somebody, or do we keep the I, We got to keep the core together. We just won the Stanley Cup. I mean, let's look what he did for us. 46 points, 10 points in the playoffs. It's pretty good, so we got to we gotta keep the core together. I want to offer him... Nah, he only goes up in price. How about four? Yeah, I'll, I'll offer you that exactly. Goaltender, I mean... What are you being so stubborn about? I'm offering that much at most. If he doesn't want to accept, then he doesn't accept. Simple as that, I guess. Okay, so we're going to need a new fourth line center. Payet, I just think his his potential and overall is just going to drop because he's older. So, um, more money. Are you kidding me? Okay, yeah, Hammond doesn't want to come back to the team. You don't want to come back to a Stanley Cup team. Hey, that's whatever. Find another backup. And, of course, Soderberg is going to ask for more money. A freaking course. So go back here. Silverberg. Three years. Four point five. That's what you gotta give him. I, I he's he wants that. He probably wants that. Like, why do you put that price down? And then you say you want more money. Like, yeah, you gotta fix that. So it says advanced today, offer rejected. The hell? <sighs> here we go. Here we go, boys with this <sighs> Silverberg you gotta be kidding me like two years two years at 4.700 that's the most I'm offering if he doesn't take that I'll give him a max D I'll give him like a lot of money and then just trade him because I'm not I'm not giving this much money to an 82 overall if he doesn't take that well okay okay yeah he, he can he can just go to the free agency whatever Whatever, uh, friend, we don't need any of those guys. Okay, let's see what is in free agency now. Okay, free agents. <sighs> Taking a, ooh, Max Patrick, Jesse Pujar, Mitch Marner. Okay, we got a free agency here, boys. Ah, uh, they're all restricted free agents. Ooh, Zuccarello. Remember how, I remember in my stream I was talking about going after him, and while he's here in free agency, we can give him some money. Okay, where is frickin'... I offered you more money, and no, now no teams are interested in you, and you screw yourself. So, ship a child off there. He wants 5.4. He puts up, but yeah, he gets a lot of assists. Ooh, that's tempting. He is a center, but that is tempting, boys. So, let's take a look here. Any uh, players to go after? Hudden. You know, he may be somebody. He's pretty cheap, so you can go after that, maybe. Uh, no, that, oh, I thought that said Morgan, but I'm like, what the heck? Uh, yeah, nothing here. Goaltenders, any good potential? 
Uh, we got Burbot. Whoa, we got a lot of goaltenders and free agents. Oh, Mike Smith is up to a freaking 89. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so we got a lot of older goaltenders here. Well, man, well, I mean, if you need a goalie, I mean... Uh, Robofsky, no, I can't go after any goaltender. We got Fitzpatrick in the system. We're going to stick with that, and that'll be final. Pooja Harvey, how's he doing? Uh, no, no, he's not worth 6.5. Mitch Marner, Mitch the bitch. Uh, had a good season last year, but not really what, not really what I'm looking for. Okay, so, Shipachayov... Zuccarello, or we go back for Silverberg. Hmm, I mean, Shipachayov is chemp is Oh my god, I cannot speak. Shipachayov is tempting. He's very tempting. 50 assists, 60 back-to-back 60-point seasons. Now he is 32. So we can... Yeah, he wants a two-year deal. No teams are interested. I think this is a good deal to go after. I think this is a good player. So we offer him two years at 5.5. And, I mean, somebody's gonna have to go, maybe... I mean, I don't know. We just got... Let's take a look here. He is the center. So we would have to move somebody. Who is our second-line center? It's not Colin. It is Colin White. Ooh. Colin White is our second-line center. Remember that. And we got... Oh, man. And he's had good seasons, boys. Who's our second-line right wing? Pominville. Yeah, I don't know if we can make that trade. But yeah, Silverberg would actually not have been able to fit on the team. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we got all the pieces, man. I, I don't think we need to make a move, do we? I mean, we need a third line center, it looks like. Okay, one, two, three, four. That's that's our center core. Sadine would be on the third line left wing. We need a third line left wing. Or third line right wing, excuse me. So, yeah, we need a third line right wing. That's where Silverberg was playing, or, or being rotated, if I recall. So we need a third line right wing, if anything. So, let's check right wingers. We got Justin Williams. Can have him score more games, 7 goals. He had 43 points last year, but a minus 8. I don't know, man. He wants one year at 3.5. I don't know. Mm, Rick, Rick Nash is here. He can put some numbers up. Minus 16, though. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, man. The, these centers. Ooh, Derek Broussard. He's in free agency. We could bring him back. We could bring Derek Broussard back. Even though he did have a bad year with us, we could bring him back. How much he wants? 3.9. Not bad. Hmm. You know what? We can move the Sedins, one of the Sedins down to play with the other. I, can't I can never recall which Sedin is which. I think we're going to go after him. So two years at 5.5 for Vladim Vladimir? Vladimir? Va Vladimir Shipachayov. Okay. And we still... We still need a depth forward and a depth defenseman, which we will get, which we will get. Yeah, I don't think there's um really anybody else to go after. Wait, do we have our... um? I got to make sure we have our depth players. Remember, injuries are can, can either make or break your season. You need to have those depth guys. So, who's my fourth line right wing? Oh, yeah, it's Captain. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so we got Sunquist and we got Paquette. As our winners. Paul could actually be a fourth line. Maybe Paul could be our uh, healthy scratch. Or Sunquist. Wait, who played? Didn't Sunquist play last year? Played a couple games in the NHL? No, he played in the HL. He is a fourth liner, too. One of those guys. One of those guys. But do we have our, uh, our depth? No, we don't. Okay, we're actually missing a defenseman, too. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we need a defenseman. Ooh, and we just gave him 5.5. That's going to put us down to a million, at least. So we're going to have to get another cheap defenseman, another cheap top six. That's the plan, as usual. So what? Uh, that's what I always try to do. Uh, Dan Girardi, he wants three years, though. What if we go to one? Yeah, he wants two million. I mean, he, he's going to drop, though. He would. Uh, Bertuzzo, Manning. Manning wouldn't be bad. Depth defenseman. He's depth, though, so maybe he's not that good. Kindle. Uh, no. Delzato, Delzaster, you mean? Uh, <laughs> what was it? Ooh, minus 19. No, 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 thank you. <laughs> uh, Matt Irwin, he was on the Predators, so he must be doing something. I only played four games last year. Hmm. Chariot, Ben Chariot. Uh, plus two. I mean, he did have 57 penalty minutes, but he was still a plus. So, one year at 1.4. And then we also need our, uh... Depth guy, yeah, Eric Driver, random back. No, oh my god. Look, what about if we go two-way? Uh, Jordan Subban, no thank you. Um, 
I don't know. What about Paul Postma? Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. And the only reason I remember that name is because when Vanek did that between the legs goal and he was like, around Postman, and that's how I know. <laughs> Alright, so let's advance the days here and let's see if Vladim Vadimin Shipachayov, the raging Russian, will come to the stamp the hopefully defending Stanley Cup champs, the Ottawa Senators. So advancing the days here. And Ben Sherriot accepted our offer, Paul Postma. My, my my own team, my favorite team. They did that to me. I offer I offered them 5.5. You could have came up to a cup contending team, and you go to Detroit, and they want to trade them, and they want to trade them. They offered you one million more, and you wanted to go there. Be oh, screw it. We're going after them. We're, I know it's a two year, but we're going after them. <laughs> what are we gonna give them? <laughs> what are we gonna freaking give them? Okay, okay, we'll figure this out here. Ah, uh, Sadin. No, he's a second liner. See, he would move, he would be moved down and play with his brother. That would be the plan, man. But wait, one, two, three, four. So they'd be playing on the wing. Got it. Got it. Got it. I got <laughs> I gotta find a way to trade for him. Do I give up a first round pick for him? We'll do it. A first round pick, and ah. Uh, this Nestorov guy. They need defenseman over there in Detroit. A first rounder in Nestorov for Shipachayov. Can we retain 100 in salary? Because that's what I was going to offer him. 150. If they <laughs> propose it, just do it. Trey rejected. Oh my god. Like this salary thing. They got to fix it. See, like, look at this. I'm only retaining 50 million for two. Um. Okay, that's stupid. There we go. We got him on the team now. We got Shipachayov in, in uh, Ottawa. They didn't. They wanted to trade him. They signed him, then they trade him. So there's a bit of uh, unrealisticness there, but that is okay. So I think we're ready. I think we're ready to sum up to next year. We only got 31 skaters, so we might want to get some forwards for the AHL. So like just to get it up to 35. So two way. Anybody? Anybody with good potential. Uh, Cordeals could turn out to be something. You never know. Uh, I'll offer him one year. One year at 900. Uh, McClint, McInnes, no, no. Uh, Lemieux, Bertuzzi. We'll offer Bertuzzi. Uh, no, no, no. We want to, we want to get somebody other than a right winner now. Uh, we'll get this O'Gara guy. And Olfson, that's four. Okay, I think... We'll get this Turgeon guy just because he's a Red Wing, or he was drafted by the Red Wings, I believe. Wait, Elias Peterson. He's about. Oh no no no, <laughs> other Peterson. Wait, Alex Alexander Kerfo. Wasn't this the guy that's uh? I don't know. I felt like that name's familiar. Whatever. We'll offer him something. There we go. And then we'll get to next year. I think we've done everything we needed, so we can look at the awards now because I actually didn't look at those. Do that real quick. So, Stanley Cup, Ottawa Senators, President's Trophy, Columbus Blue Jackets, Clarence's Campbell, Arizona, Prince of Wales, uh, Ottawa Senators. So, Art Ross went to Ovechkin, uh, Hart went to Brabovsky, interesting. James Norris, Eric Carlson, back-to-back. -back. Uh, Lady Bing, Nikita Kucherov, Calder, Nylander. Oh, yeah, um, White won it last year. Conn Smythe, Eric Carlson, Vesna, Brabovsky, William Jennings, Brabovsky, Bill Masterson, Zadorov, Selkie, Bergeron. Ted Winsy Brabowski. What a year for Brabowski. And then Maurice Richard of Kenny Malkin. I don't know if I went over those in the stream, but I just wanted to be safe in doing the video, so you guys don't have to go look for it. Okay, so I think we're good to go here. We got everything set up. We got all the players. Let's go to the beginning of year three. Alrighty, so we're up here before the year, se year three season shall begin, and uh, the lines are all edited, and you can see there, team status contender. It was champion, but I signed... Uh, two depth forwards and it went down. <laughs> uh, I don't get that there, but it's whatever. But taking a look here at what the year three teams looking like, we got Hoffman, White, Stone, Shipchayov, Turris, and Pominville. That's a line of all playmakers, which I'm not typically a huge fan of, but we'll see how it goes. Then we got Sedin, Brown, Sedin. So we got the Sedins, Boxing, and Brown. So it's it's pretty cool there. Hopefully, uh, Hopefully they can do some of that. I mean, that I'm thinking, like, could that third line actually do something? You never know. Then we got Paquette, Smith, and Kapanen. 
And then on the defensive core, we got Carlston Shabbat. I'm giving Shabbat the ice time. I know you're CC. Giving Shabbat the ice time. I want this dude to grow. He has the potential to. And then we got Carlson and CC. Then Witherspoon and Chariot. And then our scratched guys are Carrick, Terry, and Dezingle. And then in net, we have Anderson. But look at that. Evan Fitzpatrick has grown. He's looking to come up and be the next guy here in, uh, in Ottawa after Anderson's gone. So, and then the HL team, this is what it's looking like. Formington up to a 74. So he was a 72, we jumped up to, not bad. But we'll see how it goes in his first AHL season. So, yeah, I'm giving him all the ice time. I'm putting him with Kerfoot and uh, Sunquist. So he's got some some skilled guys with him. And this is the rest of the team here. Not that bad. There's Mazzora. He went from a 60, I guess he's either a 64 or he stayed at a 65. But hopefully playing with Postman right there, he can get some help. So... That's what the HL team's looking like. Now, I'm not too worried about them because we don't have really any prospects down there besides our defensemen, but I have the defense score stacked up. So, oh, yeah, the special teams, duh. Yeah, here's a look at the special teams. I mean, I don't know how it's going to go, but then again, you never know. So this team, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I got White. I'm giving White a lot of ice time, man. I'm hoping he can score some shorthanded goals. Uh, right here. Shorthanded goals, one. <laughs> you never know, though. He's just a He can seem to score some goals. Um... Four on four, three on three, extra attacker. I'm going to put him on the extra attack, extra attacker other than Carlson. But, yeah, and then the shootout. So, yeah, I mean, this team, I'm, I'm hoping that we can, um, you know, have a maybe another great season and then we can win another Stanley Cup. That's the goal, obviously. I hope we can be a champion team, maybe start a dynasty here in Ottawa. So, yeah, guys, smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you think of these signings and these trades and the lines, what you think, if the line should be changed even. So, yeah, guys, subscribe to see more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.